Hello and welcome everybody to Talking Golf Tuesday. Today we're talking about drama with Rory McIlroy. But before we dive into that, let's talk a little bit about engineering, okay? I was raised with these discussions. I come from a family of engineers, okay? And that's, this is what we talked about at the dinner table when I was five. Metal. As you take metal and you bend it, not to its extreme limits, just, you know, you bend it. Take a piece of, you take a paper clip, you take a piece of metal and just bend it. Even spring metal, okay? You bend it, you bend it, you bend it, you bend it. Over a thousand, hundred thousand, a million, however many repetitions, that metal will fatigue. Okay, it'll get hard, it'll become less flexible, it'll start to crack, which will make it more flexible. And you get fatigue cracking, something that the airline industry is familiar with for decades, okay? Hundred, yeah, decades, because it hasn't been a hundred years. So, you know, metal will fatigue. Fact check that, go look at it, what, you know, whatever you need to do. You can, ex you can demonstrate it yourself. It's similar to like forging metal. When you take metal and you hammer it, or you coal, you know, ro you roll it and compress it, or hot, well, however, you, there's any number of ways to forge it, and they have different properties, but it will become more stiff, all right? And in lots of cases, more brittle, depends on the material, but metal will fatigue, okay? Now, plastic. So carbon fiber is just a carbon fiber weave for rigidity coated in an epoxy or a plastic, okay? That's an easy way to think of it. So it's plastic with carbon fiber structure internally. That does not have a fatigue limit. Boeing, famously, with their Dreamliner, you know, showed, showed the, there, there is no fatigue limit on carbon fiber, at least not anything that they've experienced yet. Could it be after a trillion reps, there's some fatigue? It's possible. I don't know. I haven't seen the numbers, all right? But there's, it's considered a not, not a fatigue material. Now, let's go back to Rory McIlroy, all right? He was saying that he switched his drivers, tailor-made, stealth-branded driver, because the face... And he said, you know, what they said about the metal woods, titanium woods, over time, that face no longer conforms because of the repeated fatigue properties of titanium or steel or whatever you might be using. But that doesn't apply to carbon fiber, does it? So there are two things that went off in my head. Number one, one possibility. I don't have the answers. I haven't looked at the data. All I'm saying is just reading the headlines. My first thought was, oh dear, carbon fiber doesn't fatigue. So, number one, they made a poor carbon fiber. They used some material that isn't the right material for that application. Number two, along with that, it is possible that there is actually face wear, meaning that the plastic is actually wearing through. When he hits that golf ball, the plastic is wearing, and as it decreases in thickness, think about the plastic on the face of the driver, decreases in thickness, that spring effect is going to go up. So again, suggesting that they're using the wrong material. Because carbon fiber, you shouldn't see that. And the third possibility is the frame. If you look at a stealth driver or a SIM2 driver, I have a SIM2 display over here. You'll look at it and you'll realize that TaylorMade is switching to cheaper materials. For the frame on the SIM2, the subframe, they weren't using titanium, they were using aluminum and charging a lot for that aluminum, like a titanium driver, titanium face, aluminum frame. Stealth 2, it looks like they have a metal frame around that carbon fiber, carbon era driver, right? That metal, whether it be titanium or aluminum, I hope it's not aluminum, the, uh, that frame and possibly the subframe underneath might be fatiguing and might be causing these faces to come out of uh, standard, right? So the USGA and the RNA both have standards. So we imagine, so here's an example. So imagine that frame around the face, okay? It's holding that face nice and tight and the face has that rebound effect. Now imagine that fatiguing and possibly expanding over time. And all of a sudden that becomes more flexible. There are fatigue cracks in it, whatever. And then all of a sudden that frame around the face is flexing, which brings the face out of standard. Hmm, interesting. Either way, those are all faults in engineering. So, I have actually, I have engineering solutions. I'm not gonna share them because Taylor May can figure that out on their own, all right? It just seems to me, in my opinion, 
that that tailor-made Stealth and Stealth 2 driver are poorly engineered. My opinion. My channel, my opinion. I can say what I want. That's how I feel, just looking at that, that incident with Rory McIlroy. Let's move on to Fantasy Golf. I'm going to put up the leaderboard here. I'm in the middle of March Madness in my March Madness bracket league with family and friends. I'm number two. Not, that doesn't sound good when I say it like that. I'm second place in that league and struggling with March Madness. Princeton, go get them. At the making of this video, Princeton is on the charts as like a contender. Not maybe a contender for the title, but they'll knock people out of this tournament, so it's pretty interesting. Who's going to win March Madness at the making of this video? Let us know in the comments below. Who did you pick? Please tell me not Purdue. That would be... Oh, who's the other one that's out? Duke. I know one of our people in our bracket shows Duke. Anyway, if you want to make it on the leaderboard here, it's free to join. Anybody can join the Vintage Golfer League. Just go to the link in the description below. Fantasy Golf. You'll need a PGA account. It's free to create an account. And then you can come play with us, be on the leaderboard, and totally rock out your picking professional golfers who you think are going to do well this upcoming week. As a reminder, pick your golfers for this week now. You have until Thursday. The Masters is coming up, so be sure to join us now so you can play fantasy golf over Masters weekend. It's a lot of fun. Thank you everybody for watching, especially my patrons. I really appreciate your support. If you'd like to join us on Patreon, it's just general support. A dollar a month is welcome. And you get behind the scenes pictures and updates, and I really appreciate it. Another way to support the channel is visiting my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you everybody for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.